All right, we're going to find the exact values and leave the answers in simplified radical form. Uh, secant of 7 pi over 6 is the first one, and know that secant relates to cosine. Um, that's 7 pi over 6, the angle. And you take the cosine of 7 pi over 6, this is where you need cosine. That's going to be negative, three, uh, negative square root of 3 over 2. And then you take the secant of uh, 7 pi over 6, that's going to be two, negative 2 over square root of 3, and then uh, you um, need to get the radical on top, so it's going to be negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. Next we have cotangent of negative 2 pi over 3, and notice that it's a negative angle, so we're going to be going down instead of out, up. Uh, cotangent is related to tangent, so you take the tangent of negative 2 pi over 3, that's going to be negative square root of 3 over 2 over negative 1 half, or square root of 3, same thing. The cotangent of that is 1 over square root of 3, because you just flip it, and once you simplify it, it's square root of 3 over 3. The last one is cosecant of 11 pi over 4. Um, cosecant relates to sine. Uh, this is the graph of 11 pi over 4, the angle. It's going to be one revolution around, and essentially it's just going to be 3 pi over 4. So you take the sine of uh, uh, 11 pi over 4, which is the same as 3 pi over 4, and it's uh, square root 2 over 2. And uh, the cosecant of 11 pi over 4 is 2 over square root of 2, and uh, that simplifies out to square root of 2.